Dave Dyer, hello and welcome again to Crow to Crow. Now, as I promised you last week, I shall be telling you more in today's programme about Gol Kizlazik and Goethe Savilm Hagabel Wallach in Broyo Celtic. That's a mouthful, isn't it? The film festival in Carnarvon. But today's programme is mainly about Hinwin names. Hinwin Tillerio, names of places, and Hinwin Rag Flehers, names for children. First, the Carnarvon details. The Gol Keswlazek, or International Festival, and Goethes a Wilm Habel Wallach of the Association for Film and Television in Broyo Celtic, in the Celtic countries, and that is a very long title for the organisation, is now the third largest film festival in the whole of Britain. And it's a mixture of television programmes and large television companies and smaller independent filmmakers from all of the six Celtic countries. Cornwall is represented at the festival and has been for the past few years. There will be entries this year from TSW and from the BBC, as well as from the Penworth Women's Film and Video Group and the Falmouth Film and Video Workshop, uh, members of whom I spoke to in last week's programme. The festival aims to bring together film and video material made in the Celtic countries and about the Celtic countries, and it can vary from programmes produced in Scotland, like a kick up the 80s, which won the Festival Award one year, to very, very traditional, simple, small film company productions shot on very, very low budgets. The festival takes place in Carnarvon, and Kinza Warnigans, then Pimpers Warnigans, and Kinza Warnigans, then Pimpers Warnigans, Miss Mirth in Carnarvon from the 21st to the 25th of March. And if any of you are particularly keen on film and video and would like to actually go to that film festival and see all those entries, then drop me a line at Radio Cornwall, Phoenix Wharf, Truro, and I'll let you have further details of the festival. Now on to names. Now, I'm not an expert on Cornish place names, though in fact it was an interest in Cornish place names that started me learning Cornish in the first place. The first authoritative book on Cornish place names was that written by Morton Nance in the 1930s, A Guide to Cornish Place Names. It's been reprinted by the Cornish Language Board several times, and copies are still available, and it's a very useful little guide. That was followed by a book by T.G.F. Dexter, which for a long time was the authoritative book of Cornish place names. Though since both those publications... Oliver Pardo at the Institute of Cornish Studies has been conducting very, very thorough and extensive research, and he is now one of Cornwall's uh, greatest experts on Cornish place names. Another is P.A.S. Poole, whose book The Place Names of West Penwith makes very entertaining reading, particularly if you live in West Penwith and want to know what all those Tremelin, Trevelin, Trenals, Tregoose, Trewarveneth, Tremenheer, Tregaric, and so on, place names mean. The most comprehensive book, uh, and widely available book, and one of the most recent, is by my friend Julian Holmes. The book is called A Thousand Cornish Place Names Explained. I spoke to Julian the other day, and he gave me the news, or Nuwadhu, that Liscard Town Council has decided to set up an Arweth, Arwedhu, signs, road signs, welcoming people to the town in Cornish. And Nuwadhu, draw the Liscaris, you consul and draze, Ervira Seville Arwetho, Rak Walcoba Tis in Dre, Warren Arwetho, a fifth Neptam Kernuak, Dawetia for a Gwellas Liscaris Agustiner, Scrivis War Book for Vera, or Tosa G and Dre. Now there are other towns that uh, have put up signs saying welcome to you in, in Cornish, Newquay is, is one of them. Do you think people take these seriously? Ni one fatal in the Sinjis, me well as in in Newkeep or Tumblestra, Hagin West in Penrin, Nanti Nevis Blavinio, Ninjavi Siralam in Marasjusi Hua or Savalena. Would you like to see Cornish used much more extensively, for example, in street names as well? Me Gaja Gwellas Mir Hinwin Scrivis in Kernuak, Dres Ken in Tilurio Kapara Hellas. Hagen Truro, for example, Hagen Penzance and Wave. You're mentioning Truro and Halston, and you're saying they have a poor record because um, they don't include much Cornish in their place names, their street names, for example. 
And Skiller, my, my pleasure to be your Camp Poller and, and Trevor Na. You uh, rack balls together, Hinwin straight is in Karnak. Um, you uh, authentic Marminter, you queer, hag me a gaja mir, hag a gwelas arta in straight o kapara, straight Kenwin, Kenwin straight, for example, for um, well, an example da, you hano Karnak queer. Rack Cathedral Lane, Rack in Terminus Passio, the Hano or Straight Inn. So that was actually called a Cornish name, and they then changed it to an English name. Uh, Ninjas Dead and Bees, yeah, 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 and you agree. Me Gaja Gwellas and Kernu and Hano Kernuak, Scriffis Gans and Hano uh, Solznek and Nirama. What about the much larger question? Uh, some of the place names in Cornwall are different slightly in their Cornish spelling to their um, English spelling. My hometown of Cambron is in the new spelling K A M M B R O N. Now that would be quite unfamiliar to most of the people who come in and out of the town. Do you think that that should be up in in that spelling up on our street side? Me as well as in Vilhana Wabar Futtler, Cambron you in example. Bodmin you on an arrow, and Bodmin you Hano Kernuak, Mes Hano Kernuak, and also Puravar. People might not know the origin of the name Bodmin. Perhaps you could explain where it actually comes from in English, just briefly. Certainly, yes. Um, Bodmin is originally the the board, the boz, which is the the house or the um, dwelling place, and the second part was originally Mene which means a sanctuary, a holy place, and later on it was thought to mean the, the abode of monks, which is slightly different, but not very far. And uh, that would be Bosvena in um, the Cornish that we use nowadays, is Bosvena. So rather as in Ireland they have uh, the place names written in both forms on the signpost, you'd like to see the same in Cornwall, with Bosvena in one place and Bodmin underneath it or above it on the same signpost? Well, of course, yes, yes. I, th I think it would be very important to remind people that we, we are different here in Cornwall. That's my friend Julian Holmes. And he explained the meaning of Bodmin and of Newquay. Uh, well, he, he mentioned the Cornish version of Newquay. The old Cornish name for Newquay is Town Blistera. Town meaning a sand dune, as in Porth Town. And Blistera from Porth Listry, port and Listry vessels. Town Blistera all run together. Just very briefly, the other main town names you might be interested to know, perhaps you know already. Penzance means holy head or holy headland. Hale simply means estuary. Cam Bron is literally crooked hill. Redruth comes from two words, res meaning a ford, and probably ruth meaning crimson. So the meaning is probably red or crimson ford. Though there's some thought that it might be res druith, druid ford, or something different altogether. Helston is Hen Lease, Old Court, and the T O N ending is a Saxon or English ending, Ton. A lot of talk about Helston being Hell's Stone. Uh, nothing to do with that at all, I'm afraid. It is Old Cornish Hen Lease. Truro, the derivation isn't very clear. It's been suggested that it might be three Errol, three acres, but nobody really knows. Pen Rin means head or end of the slope. Uh, Liscard is probably Lis Keris, fortified palace or court. Uh, Launson or Lanson comes from Lan Stefan, uh, the enclosure, holy enclosure of St. Stephen. And Lu is from Lu, meaning a creek or inlet. Well, to move on from place names, a lot of Cornish people are very interested in giving their children very Cornish Christian names. And in fact, there are several variants, Cornish variants, of the most common names. For example, you'll have heard me refer to Weller Brown, the secretary of the Cornish Language Board. Well, Weller is the Cornish variant of William or Bill. Similarly, Jory is the Cornish version for George. Hicker for Richard, Henna for Henry. And the girls' names are the most common Cornish girls' names are names like Morwenna, Tamsin, Loveday. And there are other new ones, uh, like Lowenna, which means joy, 
One I'm very fond of, as a girl's name, is the medieval variant of Mary, which is Marriott, M-A-R-I-O-T. And in fact, although that died out in England very, very early, it remained in use in Cornwall right to the end of the 18th century. The other distinctively Cornish names are the saints' names, of course, Perrin, Petrock, and all those others. But perhaps the most interesting of the Cornish names, and certainly the most Cornish in its provenance, is the girl's name, Jennifer. It's now the ninth most popular girl's name in the whole of Britain. It has a Welsh variant, which is Gwynifer, or Gwynavir, uh, the two names are the same. And in fact, Jennifer is a very, very old Cornish name. So all the Jennifers out there, uh, you have a very distinctive Cornish name. And if you want to know more about names for the Cornish, for your children, the best book on the topic is published by Delanzo Truran, Truran Publications, and it's simply called Names for the Cornish and contains a list of 300 Cornish Christian names, widely available in bookshops, and excellent reading. And if you want any further guidance on giving things, or even people, names in Cornish, your house, your business, or anything else, please don't hesitate to write either to Wella Brown, the Secretary of the Cornish Language Board, Wella Brown, 9 Frith Road, Salt Ash, or write to me, John King, at Radio Cornwall, Phoenix Wharf, Truro, and we'll be delighted to help you put your name into Cornish. Next week, I'm going to be telling you a story, a good old Cornish story, in fact, 300 years old, Yoan Chianorth. See you next week. Until then, do God be with you. Do <laughs>